Well, usually this time of night calls for a bedtime story about Mother Goose. And we do have a Mother Goose story for you, but there's no fairy tale ending this time. Instead, there's a federal investigation. Tessa DiTiro is in Green Township with a story you'll see only here on Local 12. Tessa? Hi, Robin Cammy. So the factory direct candles employees affectionately call the goose behind me mama. They've been watching her build her nest for the last four weeks, and they say that uh, they've just enjoyed watching her. But when they got to work early Saturday morning, it was different. She had moved her nest and there was trash in it. I just say hi and goodbye. How are you, sweetie? She's our little Lucy Goosey. Mike and his coworker Barb feel connected to the mama goose they can see from inside their store window. We were hoping eventually we'd see the eggs hatch. And then, of course, this happened over the weekend. Sometime overnight Friday, someone threw a frappuccino bottle, a cup, and popcorn into her nest. Two of her seven eggs are broken. She did move the eggs, and she's sitting on them again. Hopefully they, they'll hatch. But um, I think the SPCA said that they probably wouldn't. Canada geese are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. It is illegal to harm them. The SPCA checked it out Saturday. Yes, it's a federal crime and it's a fed. They could not even because they're not feds. They could not go clean it out. We cannot clean it out. We cannot put her back. We can't touch it. Barb and Mike want to make sure she's safe watching over her five remaining eggs. They can see the father goose keep watch from across the parking lot. It's an innocent little goose. <laughs> didn't hurt anybody. Employees say that their surveillance cameras don't point towards the area in the building where the mama goose is nesting. They were going to look at that to try to see who could have done this to her. For now, live in Green Township, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Back to you. Tessa, thanks very much. Since this is a federal crime, the Department of Agriculture will take over the investigation.